In this video, you'll learn everything you can do with Copilot in Excel. I'll first show you what you can do with the free Copilot in Excel, and then we'll dive deeper into the paid features, such as Copilot that predicts your next Excel formula, the Excel agent mode, and you will want to stay until the end because the new function equal Copilot will absolutely blow your mind. Hi guys, I'm David Fortin, a Microsoft MVP, and without further ado, let's dive deep into it. So I am in Excel right now and the file is available for you to download absolutely free in the description below. And the first thing that you need to know to use Copilot in Excel, even the free version, you will need to make sure to have your data set as a table. So right now you might think that this is a table, but it is not. So I have a data set here. I'm going to hit Control Shift Right and Control Shift Down. So you just learned two shortcuts. And then I'm going to go into the insert tab at the top and I'm going to transform this data set as a table because Copilot works better on table. I'm going to click here and then it says the data for your table is the following range A1 F1795 and you need to check my table as headers press OK and you will see that your data will be transformed as a table. Just for the records Copilot works way better on tables and your files need to be in OneDrive or SharePoint. So it needs to be on the cloud. Now that I have a table, it is super great. What I love to do, I go in my table design tab and I will name my table. I will name this one sales underscore table, right? So now I have a table and Copilot is ready to do some stuff on this table, all right? Super cool. I have my table right here. So what I can do now, I have the free version of Copilot, absolutely free. You can go here, click on the button at the top. You should see that even though if you don't have a paid version, you just need a Microsoft 365 license. Here we go, I will click on the button at the top and I will have this pane to the right that will appear. It's the exact same thing as if I will take my Excel file and upload it into m365copilot.com the Copilot chatbot. And now I can ask questions. So I have a typical data set right here of sales. It is roughly 2000 line of data. And you can see I have my dates, my product, my sales amount, my region, pretty basic data set that you will find from any of your ERP, right? And I will ask a basic question and I won't teach you how to prompt today, but I will just say, give me the top three salesperson for Q3 of 2023, right? So this is a question that your boss might have. So what Copilot will do, it will analyze your whole workbook and it will help you answer this question right here. Here we go. So Copilot answered me, it said, hey, here are the top three salesperson for Q3 of 2023. I highly encourage that you always double check these results. And then you can ask a follow-up question in the same conversation, you can say, show their monthly sales breakdown. And you might be thinking, okay, David, I will just do a pivot table. That's absolutely right. The main difference between the free and the paid version is that the free version won't take actions on the documents for you, while the paid version, which we'll see later in this video, is able to do some actions for you. So Copilot is currently reasoning. It will actually do the monthly breakdown in just a few seconds. Here we go. So we asked the monthly sales breakdown for Q3 and you can see that I have my monthly breakdown for all of my top three salespeople with the totals, which actually matches the answer that Copilot gave me a few seconds ago. So this is very basic, which what you can do with the Copilot in Excel free version, but you can also click here. Look at that. Add a bar chart to this data, right? We will ask that and you will see that the results will not be an act actual chart in Excel. You won't be able to click insert to sheet and you know, it will actually give you a picture uh, of a chart that is made with Python, the biggest, the most popular programming language in the world. In this case, you can see that Copilot created a new sheet. Uh, I thought it will just give me an image, but you can ask Copilot, can you make the chart directly in the chat? So if I click here, it actually made a new Excel sheet. And if I open the sheet, I shall see the chart in it because Copilot told me that it did an actual chart. And you can see 
I have a new Excel file right here and Copilot made a chart. It's not the best. You can see here that it's some kind of image of a chart. It's not directly, uh, it, it is actually, it is actually linked to the data set. But what I don't like with this is that it made a new Excel file and most of my formulas are all broken in my Excel file. So that's a cool thing to do, but then you can bring the picture back in your Excel spreadsheet. Not my favorite, but still can be very interesting. So let me go back and ask Copilot the free version to say, can you make this chart in this chat right here, not an external file. So what I love to do when Copilot doesn't give me the right answer or the answer that I'm expecting, I'm going back just like I will tell a human, a colleague, when you know this person doesn't behave like you want, you will say, hey, can you please make it that way, right? So you ask and you shall receive. Here we go, directly in the chat. That's what I like with Copilot is that when you don't receive the right messages or the right answers, you just ask again, right? So I can copy the image here and paste it in my workbook. Again, it's not the best, it's the free version of Copilot. This is a picture I cannot act and I cannot take action on my data, it's fixed. I won't be able to update my data here in my table, it won't be updating the chart, you know? So this is what you can do with the free version of Copilot. I receive the question sometimes, can it only make charts? Absolutely not. Let's say you would like to do an average of, you know, the uptown region. You could just ask in the chat right here and Copilot will do the formula for you. All right, so I switched to my paid Copilot in Excel account so you can witness the difference of what the paid version can do versus the free version, right? So the main difference right here, you can see at the top right, I have my co-pilot button, but I have a little arrow that just appeared below it. And I can either go to the chat experience, which is the free experience that we've just seen together, or the app skills. So you will see the app skills is the place where you will go if you want co-pilot to take action on your document. Let me just go right now to the chat still. I wanna show you one more thing. It's called the Excel agent mode. I will click on the chat here and it might change where you access this by the time that you watch this video because Copilot in Excel moves very quickly, but I will put resources down below that will send you to the agent mode. So we're going to see what the agent mode can do right now. So how do I trigger the agent mode? I will click here on the tools and I will click here on agent mode. And the agent mode is really like a little Albert Einstein that will help you do so many things in your Excel file. You will be flabbergasted. So now I am the agent mode. It's the Copilot in Excel that will be able to take actions for you on your document. And I will send this prompt right here. It's not a very detailed prompt. I will say create a sales summary dashboard based on the sales data table. Make sure it looks great. Okay, and in this video right here, I'm not teaching you how to prompt. I go very deep in this topic on my online course, Microsoft Copilot Essentials from AI beginner to proficient. And while this loads, and I will show you the exact results, let's have a sip of water or coffee. <laughs> All right, so the agent mode is still working after a few minutes. It reasoned in 18 steps and I was able to witness that it added a column in my data set. So it's really like you're having a ghost in your data set that is, you know, in your Excel sheet that is actually working with you. It's pretty crazy, right? So it did 18 steps. And if I click here and I highly encourage you to do that, you can click and it's going to write everything that it did, right? Craft the dashboard, constructing the sheet, etc., And it will explain you step by steps. If you click show details, exactly what it did and where. So you can audit the changes, right? It's very important to make sure that you understand everything. And now I will discover the results just with you right now. I didn't pre-look at that, so I will go to the sales dashboard, and honestly, wow, this is crazy, right? It gives me my total sales. I'll try to zoom to help you out a little bit. Total tra transactions, it, it makes a lot of sense. Average per transaction, it gave me the sales by product. I would have loved my agent mode to give me the sales by product by year, but I didn't ask, right? I didn't tell you 
uh, how to prompt, but you should be very precise in your prompt. What do you want? I'm just giving right here an example of what it can do. And you have the sale by product that is actually linked to the top here, right? These are a pivot chart that we call. And if I filter on any of these, espresso and grounded coffee. Oh, I lost my voice here. You can see that everything is linked together, right? Super cool. I have my monthly sales trend using the new column that it did. It created a year and month column in my data set right here. Remember, it's using this new column to build the thing. I've used agent mode quite a bit now. I've did I've done some tests. I'm sorry, I can't talk uh, where I merge some credit card statements where we had all those statements in in, in each sheet, like eight different sheets. I asked the agent mode to make a drop down menu that was dynamic. I asked the agent mode to do some conditional formatting. I have many videos on my YouTube channel that you can watch for absolutely free. So I highly encourage you to go watch the agent mode right now. All right, so we dove we dive in, I'm not sure how to say that. We dove into the paid copilot in Excel. I want to show you one more thing that is called formula completion. So here I created a new column that is called year and quarter. And what I'm going to do, I want to basically extract the year and the quarter from this column A right here. I will just go in a cell and I will press equal. And with the paid version of copilot, you see here, it generated the formula. <laughs> you, you could not even see, right? So let me just do it again. I will press escape. And as I press equal, watch here, it's going to write generating formula. Boom. And it predicted that I wanted to do this formula right here, uh, which basically takes out the year and the quarter of my date. It was based on the context of my workbook. So now you will need to have your Excel, you know, well organized, no more, you know, hidden cells or hidden tabs or whatever. And I press enter and the column works just as great. The formula, I should say, work very great. So that's really cool. It's called formula completion. It's not perfect, but it's honestly very spot on. Another use case that I can show you, I made some kind of sales summary to the right of my data set. My previous boss always used to ask me where, you know, he will ask me, hey, can you do a quick summary? And I don't know how to do pivot table. So I'm right here. Uh, I have my departments right here and my total sales and I will press equal and it will generate the formula and see it does a sum if formula that if you're not familiar with, I highly encourage that you go see some video on YouTube, but it does the sum based on some criteria. So you can see here equal sum ifs, it referenced my table, the sales amount in Canadian dollars, and it will ask for the department in column G right here. I press enter and then I take the lower right hand corner, drag and drop my formula and boom, here we go. Always double check the results, but if we're lazy, too lazy to do an equal sum. We press equal right here. It's going to generate the formula. And since it's written total, there you go, the sum. And if you want another trick, I want you to learn right here. If you want to do a sum in the future, I'll delete that. You just press alt plus equal on your keyboard. And here you go. We have a natto sum. All right, do the next step. This tip is my favorite, is the equal copilot function. It's brand new, it's still in beta as of recording this video. I've put some resources below this video uh, because it will evolve, right? So everything that I'm saying right now, it will evolve, it will just get better. So let me show you. So now you have with the paid version of copilot, you have an equal copilot function in Excel. So I will type equal copilot and I will put into quotation marks, create a list of 10 states of the United States of America. I will close the brackets or the quotation mark and you will see copilot will load and it will give me a list of 10 states of the US using generative AI, right? Pretty cool. You will be able to ask copilot 100 requests every 10 minutes. So right here I did 10. It's maximum 300 every 60 minutes, but this evolves so fast. I see a world where you're going to be able to ask any question at any time. And then you know what? I will ask equal copilot, give me the acronym of this state. I made a typo here. I will try to keep it as is, but I will reference B3 as a cell and you will see it give me the acronym, drag down and boom, 
like magic. It is super cool. Quick warning, don't use Equal Copilot. If you already know that there is a function for that, use the real function and always be careful. Equal Copilot is not made to do some calculation. It is way better with text. Let me show you another example with names right here. I will just paste my prompt right here and read it out loud. I will say equal copilot, clean these names, remove punctuations, symbols, numbers, and extra spaces, fill the replacement with real letters to make real names, and I will reference cell E3 or A3 I shall say, and you can see the first one, it didn't get it right, so it's not perfect. I want to be very transparent with you here, but look at the others. Like, this is so cool, right? Uh, let me switch to numbers here. And again, it's not made to do some calculations, but I want to show you this right here. It was inspired by Leila Garani, one of my friends, one of the biggest Excel YouTube channel. Please go follow her. So equal copilot, extract the number from this text, convert it to a real number. And you can see here in column A that I have some numbers that are written in text. They are in red. The, the fact that they are in red is just to, so you can see better, okay? It's red or blue or whatever the color, doesn't matter. So I will go here, say, see, 300. I will double click on the lower right hand corner. So it drags my formula. And here we go, $536.54. Here we go, super cool, equal copilot. So many use cases. Indeed, if you wanna see more use cases of this function, function, it's right here. I'll catch you in the next video.